Mega Man X. This game is awesome, but you don't need me to tell you that. But shockingly, not that many people are aware of this game's lost prototype. But before we get into that, let's talk about some cut content from the final game, because it's going to come up later. There was originally a third version of the Anglerg miniboss in Launch Octopus's stage that only blows air. In the final game, the first one you encounter sucks X in, while the second one sucks and blows. Anyways, this unused one was probably meant to go in between those two. There's also this jellyfish enemy that, once again and quite obviously, was going to appear in Launch Octopus's stage. There's also this unused object that spawns in the Tombots from Chill Penguin's stage. There's also a broken shield sprite in the code for the Hogamer's shield, but the shield can't be broken in the final game which totally isn't annoying to know. Finally, there's two unused color palettes for Zero, and I'm guessing it was for some charging animation, but when he charges in the final, it only affects the thing on his head, and that's it. There's not that much unused content in this game, so let's get to the prototypes now. Starting with the differences shown in the Shoshinkai 1993 trailer for the game, X's HP bar says P instead of X, the 1-up is X's helmet without his face, and X's charge shot aura is red. You can also see the broken shield sprite and the jellyfish dudes. Moving on, there's the sample version. I have no clue about this version other than these trailers on YouTube. Nothing seems different from the final US version except for the fact that the title screen says sample. I don't know how this trailer was distributed and I'm not entirely sure what this sample version was used for, but I subscribe to the theory that it was probably sent to the gaming press. This version has never been dumped online. Leave a comment if you think you have an idea of what it was used for or where this trailer even came from. Just like with the Sonic 1 prototypes, I think there might be some unused data from older builds in this build, which may lead to some interesting discoveries, despite this build not being that interesting on the surface. Next is the version shown in GamePro Magazine's Power Up Episode 5 video. It looks pretty standard for the most part, looking similar to the Shoshinkai trailer build, until it shows this completely different map screen and some Maverick who looks nothing like any of the Mavericks in the final game. Finally, we have the White City build, shown off in screenshots in gaming magazines like Electronic Gaming Monthly and GamePro. This is referring to the city shown in these screenshots, which is completely different from the one in the final game. Not much is known about it, but this version is probably a much earlier build than the one seen in the Shoshinkai trailer, because the final version city is shown there. It's really weird how nothing of this build has surfaced besides screenshots, but what's even more suspicious is that these gaming magazines really loved showing off this stage, as most early screenshots of Mega Man X are of this stage, yet we don't have this build. People like to whine and complain about how Capcom doesn't care about Mega Man, but no one has bothered to contact any of the staff of any of these magazines to try to get this prototype, and that's what's encouraged me to make this video, despite how short it is. The Mega Man community has done cool things when it comes to finding lost material in the past, like finding the cancelled Game Boy port of Rockboard that no one even knew existed before. But it's weird how no one has even bothered to try to get the very different version of the second most popular game in the entire series released. I mean, we have Rockman X2 prototypes, but nothing for the much more popular first game. I hope this video sparks interest in this subject because shockingly few people seem to care or even know about it. It's Mega Man X, guys. You don't want more cool Mega Man X stuff? Okay. Anyways, thank you for watching. 
If you want to see more videos on lost video game prototypes, check out my videos on the lost version of Sonic Adventure for the Sega Saturn and my videos on Doom Lost Media. I'm out. Peace.